Hello guys, this week on this channel I will make a code review of a Laravel open source project called School, School Management System. And in the past on this channel I've been doing junior code reviews, but I realized the downside of those that they were too long, so 15 to 20 minutes without specifying the topic and just going file by file and some of the videos became too long and the statistics show that. So I decided to make a change and I will perform a review but divide it into separate topics in shorter videos, hopefully under 5 minutes each. So a typical quick morning coffee video type of thing. And in this case my goal is not to criticize the project or show the bugs, but that project will have both good parts and bad parts, so in some cases it will be an example, in some cases it will have something to improve, but I will try to be not too negative because we all start somewhere and we all keep evolving in our careers. So it will be just five different topics from the same project. It is open source, it is free, and the author of that emailed me asking for review, and finally I have time for that. Also he had posted on Reddit a few months ago, received quite positive feedback, so I will link that post as well in the description below. For some context, the author in one of the comments said that he started using Laravel last year, so it's more like a junior level type of code, but with pretty impressive features that I will show in the upcoming videos. But today's video will be kind of a criticism, but not to the author specifically, but I see the pattern of junior developers over engineer try to use as many fancy features of the framework or language without a big reason to do that. So in this video I will touch on service classes, dependency injection, database transaction and Laravel Livewire. They all seem like fancy keywords that junior developers need to adopt as quickly as possible, but in this case I think I can challenge that idea. Let's take a look at the code. First let's start with the service class. Here's a controller to manage the exams. And immediately we are invited with constructor and there is an exam service which is injected here and then becomes a private or public property of that controller. Okay, it may be fine, but let's take a look where it is actually used. And then we land on a method of storing the exam. And along the way I can give the advice that this is not the best way to have request except probably the best way is to list all the fields here in the form request class by using request validated like this and have a separate video about validated and why not using that may be a security issue so I will link that in the description below but let's leave it alone and go to this exam service create exam which is a good idea to offload the record creation if it has some deeper logic in a separate, for example, service class. The only thing I would change here is to call the variable exam service. That's my personal preference because this exam may refer to anything. It may be read as a relationship in Eloquent or something like that. So I would change exam service here and then exam service in here and probably in here with a dollar sign like this. Let's go all the way, renaming that. Okay, but what that service actually does and what's inside the create exam method. We scroll to that and see this. And this is where we touch on another over engineering, which is database transactions. Transactions are a good thing, but they are typically used for more than one database operations happening in sequence and to make sure that both of them are executed successfully or all of them rolled back. In this case, I see only one operation of creating the exam. Also, if we do have the exam here as a variable and not use it, then why we need that? So in this case, I would consider that as over-engineering and remove database transactions code like this. And also a personal opinion, service methods should not return something to session. This should be done by controller. So service should return the record created or true or false or something like that. So the data and then what to do with that data should be probably decided by controller. So if we go back to the store method, before returning back, it should go session flash here. But generally, see what happens here. We have exam service only to call one sentence of eloquent. And for that, 
we not only use that service but also inject that in the constructor. It sounds like an over-engineering to me. For simple one sentence eloquent operation I would store it directly here without any service. So let's copy from here, paste here. In this case if we use request validated we don't even need that array because that array contains absolutely identical keys and values. So instead of that array we do this. So we don't need the data anymore. We don't need that create exam anymore. And this is our store method without any service. So that's how I would refactor that in this case. In some cases service classes are great and database transactions are great but it's for more complicated logic. My point here is that junior developers sometimes want to use something fancy and something complex just for the sake of using that and I would not advise that. Another example of such kind of overengineering of using technology like a framework or a function or a package where maybe it's not necessarily beneficial is using Livewire here. Again, maybe I missed something in this project. Maybe there is some logic here and maybe the author would write in the comments or maybe you can try to go on GitHub and research the project. But here's a blade page for academic year list and there's a Livewire component academic year set. That component has this code mount again a service which may be fine but in this case that service is just an eloquent sentence. But anyway we talked about the services already. Livewire component render and that's it. So nothing really happens for dynamic behavior of Livewire or any other methods like updated something. Okay maybe there's something in the blade. The blade looks like this help button so another livewire component then livewire component for displaying validation errors so in that file I don't even see wire something anywhere wire model or wire something I have a suspicion that maybe there's something in the underlying components like help button but if we open that help button blade of livewire and search for wire there's no even wire here so maybe there's something I'm missing under the hood deep down, but on the surface that live wire works as a general include of Laravel and doesn't have any specific dynamic behavior which live wire was created for. So these are four examples that I wanted to show you of kind of over engineering service dependency injection database transaction and live wire with the advice of simplifying the code and not trying your code to look fancy. What do you think? Would you add any more opinion to that? Shoot in the comments below and let's discuss. And tomorrow we will continue with other features of this repository.